The previous mayor of Pine Coast City is dead. Which puts me in danger. So yes, yo ho my hearties and welcome to episode 20 of the Lotus SMP where as I said, I'm in danger. Because this man is dead. Yeah, I... I haven't moved him. This guy's been here for like a few weeks. Probably starting to smell. However, you may be wondering, why does that put me in danger? Well, you see, it's because, well, the, he was mayor, but, but now I'm mayor. However, of course, it brings up the question, um, am I next? Because, I mean, like, the murderer is still out there. We know who it is, <coughs> Samantha, but we haven't caught them. And due to this, I am leaving. I'm gone, completely evacuating, disappearing without a trace. Absolutely no sign of ever coming back. We are just packing our bags and leaving. Goodbye, wonderful city, wonderful town hall, my court, my new station, with a backwards N, because, because I have still not fixed that. We're leaving before I die. But here's the question, where am I going? Because I mean, like, I could come and knock on Yogi's door and be like, hey, could I stay over? Or, you know, visit one of my other friends. Never mind. Yeah, there's not really anyone else I can go to. But no, we cannot do that. We actually have other plans. Over 2,000 blocks away in the ice and snow, up on this nice cliff over here, we have a village. And this is where we're going to be for the next few episodes because we're actually working on a fairly large project out here. But firstly, we're actually in the wrong outfit, because if you haven't realized, this is still my Halloween outfit, and it's December, and we're also in a snowy area. So then, let's go and change. So, there we go, my nice red and white winter outfit, and look at that, it's snowing. Isn't that adorable? But now, we get to business. Why am I out here? You know, other than hiding from my problems. Well, you see, snowy places like this, which are really remote, tend to be quite secure. So, over the next few episodes, and probably live streams actually, we're gonna be working on something. Something very secure in the middle of nowhere where absolutely no one can just run away. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you later what it is. For now, we need to make this place a bit nicer. And by that, I, I don't mean like nicer looking, which firstly means getting rid of these houses. Okay, so there's been a slight change of plan. The first thing that I was going to have to do was actually going to be removing this village. However, because I'm so nice, and also just because it's more convenient, we're moving to the other side of the ravine, on this wonderful bit of flat land just a few feet away from a sudden drop to death. It's the perfect holiday destination. So if we're not removing the village first, then what are we doing? Well, of course, we're setting up. So there we go. We have a nice tent out here, and I'm gonna be honest, this is like my favorite tent design, and who are you? And you, get, get out of here. Yeah, this, I think, is actually my favorite tent design, in all honesty, and I really like the color scheme I went with. But, in other news, I have realized something. So, we've moved out here, like, 2,000 blocks away, and we're in the middle of the snow, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, and I don't have any resources. But, as I said, we're going to be working out here for the next, like, three episodes slash live streams probably which is why i have come to the decision that we are going to make use of this wonderful village here and the way we're making use of it is we are going to turn this into sort of like a, a temporary trading hall 
which actually means that I am going to need some farms. So the farms that we are going to need, yes, I am I am back at my city, are probably going to be another melon and pumpkin farm, potentially another one of these like carrot or potato farms, and it's sort of a last resort, but there is a chance that I will need to remake the iron farm, which uh, is not fun. I do not want to have to redo that. But I will if I have to. So I'm gonna need to do a slight bit of resource gathering just because I'm not quite sure if I have the redstone components needed and I'm pretty sure I don't. So let's get to work on that. And so here it is. Please ignore the arrow in my head. So as you can see, we have a very nice melon and pumpkin farm here. I actually had to put two minecarts because this thing just fills up too fast. Except of course when you actually want it and it's basically empty. Um, but buddy, goodbye. See what I mean by the sudden drop to death, especially when there's a creeper down there. But anyway, so just over here, actually above the ravine, we have a villager breeder and very miniature trading hall. And the reason that I've actually built this over the ravine is because I don't intend on keeping it. Once its use is expended, I'm, I'm afraid all of these guys are gonna have to move into the project we're building. That's right, we're giving them a home. We're being nice. But yeah, so of course I have all of the farmers who are willing to trade melons and pumpkins. And then here we have stone cutters and I'm looking for very specific trades. The main one being cyan terracotta, which I'm glad to see this person sells. However, it is not quite enough. Like none of you guys sell it yet. You could. You guys definitely don't. You do sell some nice glazed terracotta, but like Glazed terracotta is going to be useless. And actually, to get the villagers, it was more of a challenge than you would think, because that village over there is dead. There was one villager. You heard that correctly, just one villager. Meaning, I had to make this portal, which links all the way over here to this area over here where there was already a villager breeder set up. And I, and I took one. Sorry, sorry, Seaman and Bison. But yeah, you can probably tell I was not happy about taking a villager over there on a nice trip across all of this land just to arrive down here. I mean, it was the nether, but it's, it's not exactly the most fun thing. And the other problem has actually been with zombies so, so far, only one of these guys has died. Just one. A very small and minute setback, especially when you consider the fact that this guy now gives me some really nice traits. So I will take those, thank you. We are going to buy some cyan terracotta and then spend the rest to upgrade you. And slowly but surely, we are building up materials here. Also, there is one other thing. So just around the corner here, these guys. These guys escaped. Escaped from that. And you see, normally I'd be fine with that. I'd just let them roam around, but they're getting in the way. So I figure we should give them a challenge. If I win, they leave. If if they win, then, well, well, I'll, I'll just be quite embarrassed, really. So, you see, we're just going to make a nice shovel and get some snowballs. And we're gonna solve this with a snowball fight. So, guys, are you ready? In three, two, one. Oh, that's a shame. It seems like they lost. I hope they're okay. However, it may be for their own good that they're gone. Because the very land we're standing on is going to become my very own maximum security prison. 